Let's begin this morning with Russia standing on the brink of an invasion of neighboring Ukraine. In a week when American diplomats met with Russian leaders in an attempt to stave off a war that could rope in the United States and its allies. NBC's Raf Sanchez is following the overnight developments for us from London. Raf, good morning. Willie, good morning. The U.K. saying the Kremlin is preparing to mount a coup against the president of Ukraine and replace him with a pro-Russian leader. Now, the goal here, from Russia's perspective, may be to try to avoid a long, bloody war in Ukraine and instead just force a change of government from one that opposes the Kremlin to one that supports it. The White House National Security Council saying in a statement overnight, this kind of plotting is deeply concerning. The Ukraine Ukrainian people have the sovereign right to determine their own future, and we stand with our democratically elected partners in Ukraine. Now, Russia, of course, is denying these allegations, calling them disinformation. And Pope Francis today calling for an international day of prayer for peace in Ukraine. President Biden, meanwhile, has been huddling at Camp David with his national security officials. Remember, the president has said he will not deploy U.S. troops to Ukraine to fight there, but he is sending missiles and other equipment to the Ukrainians to help them defend themselves in the event of an invasion. But of course, there is always the danger that if America's NATO allies get roped into the fighting, then the U.S. would be obligated under treaty to come to their defense. Willie? Raf Sanchez starting us off in London this morning. Raf, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.